Hi guys, welcome back to Homesteading with Taryn. If you don't know me, my name's Taryn and we live on a, a small homestead in Reiterbos in, South, in a beautiful South Africa. This, is, this video is part three and it's all about our donkey geezer. <laughs> it's an interesting story. We had another gas scare here in South Africa. This week we really struggled to get hold of gas. Now we use gas for our stove for cooking and we use gas for heating our water, for, for bathing or for showering. Um, and so if we don't have gas, we're not going to have any, any form of hot water. Now we've always wanted to build a donkey geyser and we've had most of it most of it in place, but we were short a few items. Unfortunately, it never really climbed to the top of the priority list until this week. We had this water tank, it cost 400 Rand. Um, and uh, we bought a few fittings, we bought, we bought, let's call it water pipe or conduit pipe that allows hot water to go through and we bought a non-return valve and we bought some extra fittings that fit onto the pipe for Wayne to do for Wayne to do the pipe work for us to incorporate this donkey hot water geyser system into our existing gas water heating system. Now in my last video we uh, we thought to give it a test run and unfortunately it had a leak. There is a cylindrical pipe inside this water tank and it was leaking. It was the first time that we'd made a fire, so we thought that we needed to make a few adjustments. It was either going to be trying to find the leak and perhaps weld it closed or to perhaps find another or new pipe for Wayne to re-weld inside this water tank. Okay, that was problem number one. Even though we had that problem, we decided to continue on with the fire that we'd already made and to test and see how long it takes for hot water to come out of the pipe in the kitchen or in the bathroom. So our first attempt was three hours. It took three hours, but I must admit, it did take us a little bit of a while to start the fire. You would think that we were fire making amateurs Yet we make fire every day, so I'm not quite sure why it took us so long to get that fire going, but it really did. So it took us three hours. Anyway, those were the two problems. Three hours to get hot water and a leak in the middle. Alright, so this is update number three. <laughs> we decided to make we decided we decided to make another fire and to see whether the pipe leaks. And lo and behold, it does not leak. So we're not really sure what the problem was. We are thinking perhaps a, a little bit of condensation. So we're giving it we're giving it a watchful eye at this point, but it's still not leaking. Um, it has taken us today one hour to get hot water. We did we did start the fire in a little bit of a better manner. We started it obviously with some kindling, so the fire got going almost straight away. So it took us an hour to get water warm enough to feel it on your hand, but not warm enough to burn you. <laughs> so this is absolutely amazing. In an hour to an hour and a half, we've got steaming, cooking hot water made from a fire that comes out of our tap. Wayne and I are absolutely overjoyed. We have been wanting to complete this project for so long. If I'm not mistaken, apparently we started this project about two years ago. But as I say, it never went to the top of the priority list, so it got finished today. But there's one more thing I'd like to show you. <laughs> Wayne designed an interesting concept here. So obviously, even though we have wood available to us, it costs us time and effort to be able to make this wood. And it's really hard work. So wood is not something that we really want to waste, even though we do have it. So, while making a fire underneath the donkey geyser, so that we can get hot water into the house, so that we can have a nice hot shower or wash our dishes, Wayne made the area big enough that we can actually shift over some of the wood to make a separate fire. 
as you can see the donkey geezer has been been going for about an hour to an hour and a half now so now we just have a piece of two piece or two of wood below it just to keep it idling because the water is already hot we just need to keep it warm we moved over the wood and we started a fire over here what are we going to do with this fire this fire we're going to cook on it why because we're already sitting here having to watch the donkey geezer so we just did two things at once <laughs> so tonight we will sit and we will fry a nice piece of South African burrows here on our fire right next to our donkey geezer and when I'm done I'll pop into the kitchen and I'll go and wash the dishes with some nice hot water <laughs> so this turned out to be an absolute success but there's one more thing I'd like to let you know the total cost of this whole idea was it only cost us a thousand rand a thousand rand and some change so just over fifty dollars so for us it's an absolute blessing because it wasn't a very expensive setup even though it took a day or two or maybe two years actually to get it completed it hasn't cost us a lot in rands or in dollars so i encourage you give it a try give it and it doesn't cost us a lot in running expenses either i mean one hour to get sort of lukewarmish water an hour and a half to get cooking hot water i think it's absolutely amazing so i just wanted to let you know the costs behind it okay and luckily we've got wayne to actually figure out all the technical difficulties because i couldn't have done it <laughs> all right so that's our update with regards to the donkey geezer i hope you found this video interesting it cost me a total of 1,054 Rand in physical Rands. So just about $54. <laughs> All right. So I'd like to also say thank you so much to my new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please click the button. Until next time, have a wonderful weekend. Bye, guys.